the game's loaded. And the first thing that I can do is I can uh, pull up my parameters panel, my settings panel, by hitting F9. In this case, the uh, panel options that are available right now is I can um, change my play field graphics. So I can change the theme by clicking on one of these theme buttons right now. The vampire theme is the theme that's um, set. I can change that to a retro Star Trek theme or an anime theme. I'll change to the retro Star Trek theme and then hit F9 and toggle that off. My camera controls are the same as the KSBs, so the arrow keys are going to uh, pan and tilt and page up and page down, zoom in and zoom out. And you can see um, when you're changing the uh, graphics, the theme graphics, let me go back there to F9, then when I change, for instance, to the anime, the back glass uh, changes and the play field changes and also the bumpers change. So we have an anime bumper and here we have a vampire theme bumper. Right now the um, values for the spring tension for the ball shooter, uh, kick out speed of the pop bumpers, um, rotation speed of the uh, flippers, those are locked down, but those options will be available at the same panel um, shortly. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to relocate my um, objects that are, are selectable. So I can move my three pop bumpers and I can move my three um, rail bumpers to new locations. So I can middle click and I can just mouse down with the middle mouse button and I can drag my bumper around to a new location if I like. I can do the same with these rail bumpers. Um, I'm going to leave this rail bumper here. I'm going to change its orientation by right clicking and left clicking to or to uh, rotate it left and right. And in this case, I'm going to move this one right here, I think. And then I'm going to rotate this one to the right and move that to about right there. So I have moved my bumpers into their new positions and I could place these wherever I like and they're ready to go. So now I can um, enter my ball shooter force which is my spring tension. I'm going to use uh, 30 let's say and then hit the uh, space bar which will activate the ball shooter and then I use my control left and control right keys to operate my flippers. So I'm going to shoot the ball Once the game has begun, now my location of my objects is locked down, so I can't, can no longer relocate my bumpers and change the orientation of the rails. And then I have 10 ball attempts, <clears throat> and those 10 ball attempts then give me the opportunity to develop high score. And uh, what I'm after is the, my favorite config, configuration of the location of the bumpers and the orientation and the settings and then I achieve my high score and when I save game then I'm not only going to save my high score for the game but it will also save the location uh, and orientation of the bumpers so that others can load the same game and play that same configuration and see if they can best my high score.